want you guys to really look at what it is you're investing in yourself for the new year and going 100% in. Like, it's important to be really, really honest with yourself. Where, like, it's a two-step process, right? You've got to look at, one thing is like, what are your priorities for the, the, the first quarter, Q1, right? Maybe one of them is like, if, if I were a coach, um, you know, either just starting out or really getting established in my business, I would be thinking about, um, you know, these three to five things. I am the face of the business. So I need to be consistently showing up and know what my angle is and what I want to talk about with my people. So that, that's going to be one thing that is on my calendar every day. How am I showing up and being the face of the business? The next is content creation. How are you putting your voice and your expertise out there? So thinking about like, there's lots of options here. Maybe it is doing videos. Maybe it is starting a podcast. However it is that you visualize it. Maybe it is starting a blog. Um, maybe it's committing to your Instagram stories, but how are you creating content that your ideal audience can watch and see and know, wow, like I have a lot in common with this person. I, there's like that likability, trust and rapport. I want to do more with them. It's like that you need that constant heartbeat of who you are in your business and how you serve your audience. And you need to, that to be out there consistently so that people can find you and they can, and they can work with you. I, I know a lot of coaches out there, they just post on social and that's all they do. And there's no rapport being built behind the scenes. Content creation can also be, you know, tweaking your emails and getting them right and making sure that that constant heartbeat is there. There's got to be something that is not just um, like kind of fly by night, uh, just a post on social. Like it's maybe enough to get people's interest peaked, but it's not enough to convert them into customers. So if you're one of those people that is like leaving your just your social media posts out to chance and hoping that's going to build you a following and a six figure business, it's not going to happen. It's got to be more than that. People have got to know you like you trust you and see how you can change their life and how you can bring that value to them. Um, the third thing is going to be honing in on your copywriting skills. Now, I know this isn't um, everyone's favorite thing, um, but like your writing is money, like, and you're either losing money or you're getting better and better at it and helping uh, people see why they should work with you. And maybe you're somebody that is already at the point that you can hire a copywriter. Um, that's one of the things I love to do is the copywriting process itself. But think of it this way. It's the difference between someone reading something and feeling no emotion from what you've written versus someone reading something and they're hanging on your every word. They're following you. It's like a roller coaster of emotions. Like when we're in the sales process, if you've been in sales before, which I'm sure lots of you have, Think about it that way, like every sales process is going through what are the goals you have, you know, and then taking them through that emotional journey, like how would you feel if you achieved that goal? How would you feel if next year you were still at the same place you are right now? And it's this constant, like, I would feel amazing. I would feel horrible. Like that is what you're doing in the sales process. So copywriting is no different. We've got to be able to take them on these ups and downs. So the three priorities we've talked about so far is you're the face of the business, you're creating content, and you are uh, also the, the becoming an expert at copywriting, like starting to really lean into that and know that that is a skill you need to improve. And then from there, like those are really the three things you need to nail. And if you can do that and you feel really good about the action plan there, like list building is huge. You need to build an email list in 2020. That is the best way for you to get in front of more and more people so that, because you know, the open rate is like average 20%, whereas social media posts, it's two to 6%. The social media posts still need to happen. But I truly feel guys that the social selling industry, like a lot of network marketing companies have not yet caught up with how online business it runs like, and that's why I think the done for you plans and the monthly marketing strategy have been so successful in helping people is it's like that missing, that missing link, right? Um, not only do you need to 
build curiosity through social media posts, but then you need to bring them into some community. And whether that's your email list, whether that's a free Facebook group, there's got to be some teeth there to keep them. Otherwise, they're going to read a couple of your posts, be like, ah, oh, yeah, like kind of like this person. And then they're going to be bombarded with other people doing the same thing. So unless you can get them in that intimate community, um, there's a high chance of, of attrition and losing them, right? So that would be number four is to build that intimate community or email list, like get them in there so that you have some teeth in keeping them. And then the last thing for objectives in the first quarter is start tracking everything. You guys have probably heard me say this before. Um, men lie, women lie, but stats don't lie. <laughs> um, we used to always say that in membership sales and, and you know, it was sort of a boys club sort of environment. But I, I definitely have kept that um, as the forefront of how I run my business. Like everything from how many people are opting in a day, um, how much does it cost to get those people on my email list? And then how much um, does it cost to convert them? Those numbers are really, really powerful. And maybe you're starting with something more simple, right? Maybe you're just starting with, okay, these are my top nine posts. Everyone can do this on the app, um, on Instagram, your top nine posts from 2019. What do they have in common? I'm going to be honest. I went and looked back at mine and I was like, man, I used to share quotes all the time and those got the highest engagement. So it's, it's knowing your numbers, like knowing the things that are working and doing more of that. Like that's sort of the filter that you want to have is like, always thinking about what can I cut off my to-do list that is not making an impact on my bottom line? And what can I do more of that is leading to that growth in my business that I can spend more time doing? So guys, those are, that is a, a wrap on vision boards and why they won't get you to your goals in 2020, but what will and the five things I would recommend that you focus on in your first quarter, even if you just focus on the first one, and maybe that's your year plan for 2020. Those are the things that I know are working in online marketing. Those are the things that I've done to, um, to 5X my revenue in my business and the things that I paid $10,000 to learn in a mastermind. Like those are the things, guys, that are really, really working. And so if 2020 is your year, and you know that you need to you need to step up and start playing bigger, then I encourage you guys to make a decision. What is it you're going to invest in? Whether that is a, a course out there that you've been looking at, whether that's maybe it's the monthly marketing strategy, you really realize like you need the emails, you need the freebie, you want to start driving that stuff, or maybe you want to join the mastermind. There's the manifestation mastermind that I have. There's two there's one just for Beachbody coaches that want to get their Beachbody business up and running. And then I have another segment that is for online entrepreneurs. They want, they have another business that they want to get up and running, but want to know the steps to put into place. Wherever you are at in your journey, the one thing that we must remember is that the current mindset and the current place we are now has got us to where we are. If you look around, your mindset now has helped you get everything around you. But if you want to get to that next level, you have to continue to change that mindset. You have to continue to fight that resistance that is holding, holding you back from where you really should be. And that is how I would love all of you to really to really meditate on and think about as you jump into 2020. Guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. If you'd like to learn more about the mastermind, go to ashleyshaw.ca slash mastermind, and I'll give you all the details on how I can help you make 2020 your best year ever. Thank you guys so much. Happy New Year, 